Now, the name John, the name John means God of grace. Did you hear what I said? The name John means what? The God of grace. We are moving to Luke chapter 1 verse 63 and 66. Luke 1, 63 and 66. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, his name is John. And they marveled all. Then verse 66, let's read together. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. They marveled. Because the mother called John. They say, No, they cannot give his name John because nobody in that family bears John. And they gave the father a writing material. Said, okay, let him write. Even though he can't talk, let him talk. Let him put it by writing. They give him a sign. See that, pastors? Because at that time, the man could not talk. And they gave the man, a man who didn't hear what the wife said. They asked the wife, have anybody in this family be a John before? Who are you bringing a foreign name in this house when it's not in line with our name? And the father wrote John. His name is to be called John. That's verse 63. Then verse 63, the Bible says, all oh, that we are there, they marveled. This is a confirmation. This is a confirmation. The God of grace. So they, they, that's to say this young man came with grace. He was a child on a mission. He was there to fulfill a particular purpose. And I challenge you, every one of you under the sound of my voice, the prayer you pray for yourself, tell God, I will not come like my father or my mother. I came on my own. Because if you come like them, what stop them will stop you. What kill them will kill you. But if you came with another kind of grace, you are there to repair what they could not repair. And that's my prayer for you. And you watching me here, yeah, that's my prayer for you. That even though your parents gave back to you, came with another type of grace. You didn't come like your father. You are not there to repeat the history of your father. You are there to amend. You are there to correct. You are there to do what your parents could not do. As you stretch your hand to this altar, say amen. Connect grace. Amen. So the name John, bear it in mind, the interpretation means the God of grace. But the book of First Peter now, 5.10, what did he say? Media, let's have it. I love that scripture. I'm going to look at it somehow, but I'm still coming back to it because it's a very strong scripture. He said, but the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that, ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and said, he said to you, oh, you didn't read it. Let's read it again. Media, wait. Put it again. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle. If you put amen, that will be your portion. God of all grace, he have it all in every dimension and he can settle your matter. God of all grace. So John came with grace. In fact, the name John means the God of grace. The God of grace. No wonder he came late. No wonder what was on ground could not stop him. No wonder they called his fat mother names and yet the name they called her later changed. In Luke 1 36, they say who was called barren. When grace is available, shame will be disappeared. Switch your hand to this altar I pass the grief. May shame go out of your life. Amen. You don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Trouble day don't last always. There's a friend in Jesus 
who wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your voice and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. With Jesus, I can make it. With him, I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. You don't have to worry, and don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, trouble day don't last always. The house of friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your voice and say, I know that I can make it. I know. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. With Jesus, I can make it. With him, I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life he see your hand. Now listen to me. It doesn't matter what you are going through. All you need is to be courageous. Man that is one of a woman is a few days but full of trouble. There's no man on earth that don't have trouble. And no matter the level of you grow in the things of God, you are bound to struggle because there are battles everywhere. One thing I have come to discover in my life, no matter how anointed you are, you have never grown out of trouble. I'm telling you true. Because that trouble is the means we are God create us and make us who we want to make us. So if you find yourself in the midst of one, be courageous. Joshua 1 6. What did God say to Joshua? Media can we have it? Joshua 1 chapter 1 verse 6. What did God say to him? Upon the whole anointing, he said, Be strong and be and of what? Good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance. The land which I swear unto thy father. Now, you know, I discovered one thing no matter how God promised you blessing, battle is not terminated. There are battles in the means of that promise, and that is God for you. I know some will say, Why? Yeah, that is God. When He gave them the land of Canaan, there was a giant. He said to Joshua, You have the oil, you are the one that will lead the people. Be courageous, be of good courage. You are the one that will divide the land. So let not what you are going through kill your mind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look at what, look at what, I, let me say this. Then I will take my conclusion. If you can, you want to write, write it. In every phase of life, you must be courageous. If you want to make impact in every phase of life, you must be courageous. If you wish, you want you desire to make impact. But look at the conclusion part of it. Why I say you should write it. Even education without courage equals to servant or failure. Did you hear what I said? Education and well educated without courage equals to servant or failure. There is no level you get to in life that you will not see battle. But what matters is that do you have what it takes to conquer what is around you? And if you are a child of God, the answer is yes. Christ in me, the hope of glory. With God, all things are possible. Can I hear your amen? Yes. And I pray for you, whatever that is challenging you this year, you will challenge that thing. Yes. Did I hear amen from somebody there? Yes. Now hear this. 
And when you call yourself a child of God, when it comes to prayer, pray like never before. Hear this. Don't always be familiar on the altar of prayer. It's very dangerous. There are many of us now, if you raise prayer point now, the way they will be chewing mouth, you see that they don't tire to pray. My dear, prayers must look new for you. Prayers must look afresh in your life. Even when you pray at times, pray like say you never prayed before. Because when you are familiar at, at the place of prayer, I tell you, your prayer have no effect. Always ask God, give me fresh oil when I comes to the area of prayer. When it comes to the pray, when it comes to prayer, when I'm praying, Lord, give me fresh oil, give me strength, like I have never prayed before. Because the battle of the warrior is with full of confused noise, which Isaiah said, if there is no noise, there is no power, there is no grace attached to it. Right from the days of John the Baptist, now the kingdom suffer a valley. Only the violent, only the violent, only the aggressive will take it back by force. There are some members who would have also been here, they will tell you, say, I have been fasting every year. Even when all your problems finish, my dear, you still fast. Did you hear what I said? If there is any way you finish all your problems, but I tell you, no matter how man lives, your problem cannot finish. Even there are some blessings, I've told you this, there are some blessings you ask, there is challenge attached to it. I know you say, Pastor, how? Yes. A woman who is asking God for a baby, pregnancy journey, is it an easy journey? It's not an easy journey. That's where you see a woman will be pregnant, your picture will change. You to, in fact, some will even see your picture, they will not believe that you are the one. The baby will begin to deal with you. It's a blessing, but they have challenge. I told us one day about a woman who was pregnant. From the time she became pregnant, she will leave the part of their house, go to their neighbor's side of it. Though it's a village house. He'll be go, she'll be sitting near pit toilet in the evening. Which you know is not even good. On a, norm, a normal human being will not like to sit in that. Every night she'll carry cheer, go down. So the husband called her and said, what is wrong with you? He said, I'm okay. I'm okay. I love the breeze I'm getting here. That is the challenge of pregnancy. He will cook food in the house. He will not like the one in the house. He will like the one outside. At times, see some pregnant woman. Do, do not ask somebody one day. I say, police, they catch women where they drive. One day I saw a woman, the police cleared. When he noticed he's pregnant, I said, Madam, they go. The woman said, No, I want to come down, Oga. The police say, I say you should go. He said, No, sir. I was even thinking we had to clear. So you not do that. The police said, but not you. I stop. He said, no, sir. For center on moto, she don't come down. They come, they arrange her cloth. Policeman look and look and say, which kind of trouble be this one, this boy? <laughs> Peter now, you go get mine. Shout. He go even hold you. Because pregnancy itself, they deal with her. And you may not like the pain, but you like the product. Even when you buy car, for example, now you who came to church this morning didn't come with car. No, no police will tell you clear. But carry car, they will tell you clear. Bring your paper. But who use leg does not have paper to present. You don't need paper to trick, but you need paper to drive. Stretch your hand. This year, no challenge will get you down. You watching me, no challenge around you will make you go down. If I hear your amen, you are victorious. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. Now, if you look at that Luke chapter 1, verse 64, the Bible said, The mouth of his father. Open. Luke 1, 64. Now, let me say a few things I want to say, then we'll start praying. Luke 1, 64. What happened? And his mouth opened immediately, and his tongue loosed, and he spake, and do what? Praise God. The mouth open after the name boy that boy john was mentioned by his father and after writing john his mouth opened people were shocked 
Why? Because this boy connects grace. Every one of you under the sound of my voice, may the grace you carry make your parents laugh. There are many people today, nobody knows their name, but their children brought out the name of their parents. Talk to me. And I pray for you. You, wherever you are watching me, may your grace bring out the name of your father's house. As after the father wrote that name, his tongue got open because the boy name means the God of grace. He connected grace. He, now, here this, Zechariah was a prophet, oh, but this boy anointed was higher than the father because in the journey of destiny, overtaking is still allowed. Your papa built house, you can build houses. Your papa was once a big businessman, you can be an international businessman. Even if you came from a family that nobody is excelling, you can start, the, you can lay foundation for others. Did you hear what I said? Switch your hand, shout the father. My background my background will not limit my effort in the name of Jesus put amen if you agree repeat it shout in my background will not limit my destiny will not hinder my effort from today I break out of my background in the name of Jesus can I hear a lively amen there Sit down. Because the boy's name connected the family to grace. The papa was dancing. The mother was dancing. One of the prayers you pray this year, tell God, everyone that come around me will see anybody, anywhere I enter, I will deposit joy. Let me tell you, if you don't carry blessing, you carry curse. God told Abraham, I will bless him that will bless you. And I will curse him that curse thee. He means either you carry blessing or you carry curse. When Mary entered the house of Elizabeth, what happened? The baby lived because he came with anointing. You must say to yourself, anywhere I enter, I will deposit blessing. I will not deposit sorrow. I will not deposit tears. <laughs> if they are crying before I enter, as I enter, they will begin to laugh. Oh, I don't like that. Amen. I'm telling you, declare to yourself, I am a blessing carrier. What you carry is what you distribute. Did you hear what I said? What you carry is what you do, what you distribute. Even though the devil have changed it, you carry, cover it. Tell yourself, I am a blessing carrier. I am a solution bringer. I am the light to my family. I am the blessing my family is waiting for. What nobody have done in one family, I wish you can speak your own. I will be the first to do it. The kind of blessing that have not entered that house, through me, King Silly, it will enter. I wish you can confess it there. The kind of marriage that have never taken place, my own will be number one. If you say it, I believe heaven will take, take, take charge of it. He believe me The key of David was also grace. It was grace that qualified him. Remember when the oil came, he was looking for, they were looking for who would be the king. He was not available, but the oil was waiting for him. Stretch your hand, shall Father? This year, I'm not in competition with anybody. Let me, that's the truth. Hear me. If you carry anointing, you are not competing with anybody. I believe whatever I am looking for and whatever God prepared for me is waiting for my arrival. If I never come, it will not show up. Was David in the house when they came to anoint a king? He was not. After all, showed themselves, those who were waiting to be the king, all he rejected them. And the prophet said, we will never sit down until he arrived. Though he was waiting for him. That's why I tell you, you are not in competition in that market, in that shop. Those who believe that they are, you are in competition, they, they are wasting time. And that's why, that's the attitude of some people when they see you, look as if you are covering them. It's like you are collecting what belongs to them. We are not competing for anything. It was grace that qualified him. 
David was not there. But another thing I saw in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. What, one thing I saw there is that David, with the oil upon him, he could not be a casualty. Did you hear what I said? And that's my prayer for you this year. Any trap they will set for you will not catch you. There are people who they fear charm. There are people who they destroy charm. Stretch your hand. If you say amen, receive grace to destroy evil. You, watch me there. Stretch your hand. Say amen, receive grace to destroy evil. First Samuel 16, 13. Saul tried to kill David. And Saul, he said, and I'll come again. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Ramah was a camp of the prophet. We are the prophet who anointed him belong. After he anointed, so it's like he adopted, Samuel adopted him as his son. He went to the company of the, the prophet. That was why even when Saul sent men to come and look for him in Ramah, they came, they started prophesying. This year, the oil you carry will overshadow your enemies. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Somebody came here one day and told me a woman, he said, somebody told her, said, he, he said, go tell your pastor, make it come off for road, though. may we deal with you. He said, that's the message they told me, and I had to come and tell you, my pastor. I said, I received the message. If I know how to I take blood before I go covered and wear. How can you tell, go and tell your pastor, make it come out for road, may we deal with you. Now, may say be that. The answer is that they have tried many times, they could not catch, they will not succeed. Stretch your hand. Your enemies will labor in vain. 2023, anyone that put hand for evil against you, as you rise up thunder, amen, they will labor in vain. They will labor in vain. See them. Do you know Saul tried to kill David because of the oil he carried, could not kill him. Psalm 23 says, even David said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, verse 4, he said, I fear no evil. For thou art with me. He said, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Verse 5, he said, For thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. In Psalm 110, verse 2, God said to him, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemy your footstool. This year, those who mock you, who declared war against you, you will rest your leg on them. That amen is it, amen, or something like amen. Oh, 
Shabahaya. Switch your hand. Whatever evil lay that anywhere against you, I terminate it. Anywhere they carry your picture, carry your cloth, carry your name, go. I command fire to answer for you. Let fire answer for you. Let fire answer for you. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Aya. Hello, hello, Lenny. Lift up those hands, give him thanks. He's bigger than your battle. He's bigger than your wars. He's bigger than your affliction. Yes, Nobody contests with you, you are the king and remain king forever. Makame wachara Managibo kachara neto Hotiko nyeginayana Jesus Hilori elorei Buwako nonu we turugo lao Switch your hands. Shout the Father. In the name of Jesus, I believe by your word. I am blessed. No matter what I'm going through, you are in charge. You are in control of my life. Victory is my portion. Put amen three times. Amen, amen, amen. Now listen. This morning I'm going to take you for three prayer points. Three prayer points. And I want you to pray. If you know you are here, you believe that this year you don't want to see otherwise. Let take this prayer personal. Three prayer points. The first one. Let, take your seed. Why we pray? You drop your seed. Three prayer point. Don't pray like the way you used to pray. Pray it like another kind of prayer. Let that prayer make meaning to you. Take it personal. And I believe heaven will work it out for you. Wave those and shout hallelujah. 
Now look at the lift up your seed. Father, bless our seed as we give unto you. As we pray this morning, may our prayer have voice. May we get result. Lord, put your mouth in our matter. In the name of Jesus. Let me hear amen louder. Now, we have three prayer points this morning. Our major prayer point this morning, three. And I want you to pray with good understanding. Pray like never before. And while the prayer is going on from the first to the third, you can run and drop your seat. The first one shall be, Father. Father. If God is your Father, call him like your God. Give my enemies bigger problem. Give my enemies bigger problem. To, face to face and forget me. And forget me. I repeat, shout the Father. If God is your Father, call him loud and clear. Give my enemies bigger problem to face and forget me this year. Open your mouth and pray. Let your voice be loud. Give my enemies bigger problem to face. Give them bigger problem to face. Give them bigger problem to face. And forget me this year. Yes, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Number two. Shout it, oh Lord. oh Lord. If God is your father, shout it very loud and clear. Oh Lord. Let, my life Let my life connect my family to grace. And total turn around. Let my life connect my family to grace. And total turn around this year. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, let my life connect grace. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Final prayer. Shout the Father. Let your voice be very loud and clear. I receive grace to escape every satanic trap assigned against me in any form this year. I receive grace to escape every satanic trap assigned against me in any form this year in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray I receive grace to escape every satanic trap on in the day the night let your voice be very loud Touch your head, shout it, I receive grace to escape. I receive oil to escape. I receive grace to escape. I receive the anointing for laughter. We pray in Jesus' name. Lift up those hands, give him thanks. Give him thanks. I was worried and couldn't sleep. He was walking behind the scene, oh, to be Chuku. He has done it for me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Give him thanks wherever you are. Appreciate him. I am an Andaba Hayaba. I say, while I was worried and couldn't sleep. He was walking behind the scene, to be you go. He has done it for me. He will walk it out for you. I couldn't sleep, to be you go. 
He has done it for me. Come and join me, sing and praise it. So be chuku. So be, so be chuku. I say, so be chuku. He has done it for me. Sweat your hand. This will be your song this year. May God give you song of pray. May your story change. Everyone connected to you, their story has changed. Everyone connected to you going through battle. I use you reaching them. That battle is over. That sickness is over. That battle is over. That sickness is over. That battle is over. You are stepping out. 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 To be chuku. I said to be chuku. He has done it for me. To be chuku. I said to be chuku. To be chuku. He has done it for me. Switch your head. May God change your name to praise. 2023. Somebody will praise God. Somebody will dance. I don't know that person. You will praise him. You will dance. You will praise him. You will dance. You will praise him. You will praise him. In the morning, in the evening, in the night. You will praise. You will dance. You will praise. You will dance. You will clap your hands. Lord, I bless this oil. I declare oil of praise, oil of laughter, oil of testimony, oil of turn around. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Everyone watching out there, may God work it out for you. Even while you are trying to splash your brain, say, God, why? Before they break, it will become laughter. I declare oil of laughter. John means the God of grace. May God of all grace set to you. Turn your case around. As the book of First Peter 5 10 says, I decree is oil of establishment, oil of laughter, oil of strength. As you receive, everyone connected to you have received. And whatever that look like sickness, that look like death, as I anoint you, I anoint everyone around you. As you witness this anointing, where you are, is you are connected. Whatever that look like sorrow is gone. Whatever that look like death is gone. Whatever that look like laughter, tears is gone. Laughter is released. Joy is released. Fruitfulness is your portion. In the name of God the Father. Son of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. Another. The loudest.